but I got a, as you can see, I got a shitload of boxes. So these will be all used for the stuff. The box, some of the boxes broke apart in the shed from the stuff I took out of the back room of the trailer where we were going to do construction, which is all held up right now for lots of different things. So, but anyways, I can, while I'm waiting on True or there's going to be uh, the fellow that I hired to work for the uh, Starlink to stuff mailboxes with me. Um, he's capable of all kinds of different things, Jeff. He says he doesn't care to be, he doesn't mind being on, uh, on, uh, camera. So he'll probably be on here, but he's another multi-talented person, like super multi-talented. Oh, here's another one. Look at this guys. Oh, and there's another one there and another one. Holy shit. <laughs> They're everywhere. It's, I, I don't even have enough room in this bag. I don't think. Fuck, I didn't know there was that many in here. I didn't think there was. I didn't use them in Montreal. That would have been dangerous. No, well, not dangerous, but like, you know, we're parked right there. They're walk, they're, they're like, you know, walk up kind of places. So the first thing that would be happening is the smoke from the, you know, the chimney here would be going right into their, up, you know, to their, their apartment. So it's like, no, because you know what will happen next, eh? They'll be on the phone calling the, cops or the fire company and and that probably there's about 8,000 bylaws that uh, you know you're not allowed to break so uh, that's definitely coming with me the ooh what happened there oh I did glue on that did I no I might need it now I just broke it oh no it was two way something or another. The uh, that's come with me. That was an expensive one. That's not staying here. Not a chance. I'll clean that up afterwards. Okay. So I think I got the initial run done. Run done. Listen to me. Um, we'll just move things around. I'll bring you guys with me there. I'll have to put you guys the other way though. Um, so. Just for you guys' curiosity, that's where the um, the planar uh, diesel heater is. So this is kind of like a basement. The cassette that's the cassette toilet you see down there is the diesel. Like I said, uh, you guys can see the same thing. I think eh? I got it aimed right. And then there's like little ramps to to even it, and there's, he's got all the oils and stuff stored, like transmission oil. Blah, 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 blah. He carries uh, he carried everything. Wayne. Uh, I was on the road long enough. I'm sure that he went through every single crazy ass thing someone could go through. Okay. So on this side is where the battery bank is and everything, right? Like, hold on a minute. I'll back you guys up. You'll get hit there. So there, I mean, uh, now I got to turn you guys around. And so there's the battery bank and the inverter and... All the electrical stuff, the stuff, the, the, the big white box on the bottom there, that's the uh, uh, water that like, carries 20 gallons of water. So, okay, where are you guys here? Flip you around, flip you around. Hey, I'm on camera again, yay. My coffee's getting lukewarm. It's definitely getting time to finish here. Yeah, I'm just getting that air fryer out of the way. We can close that back up. It's not uh, the only time I opened those doors was in the winter when I had put the heater in here because I didn't want the batteries to get too cold because these lithium batteries, I guess, are you know they're they're special or whatever, so you're not to uh, let them freeze or anything. Obviously, I mean any battery, but uh, the lithiums, I guess, are a little more picky. Okay, so I'll put that up on the stove here or on the shelf, I mean, and then. The only thing I have left down here is my miniature chainsaw that I bought, the electric one. I'm just trying to move you guys away. I'll let you. So my little, that's a great little electric chainsaw for for what it for what it's you know useful for. That's the uh, you both guys can see that. That's the um, on demand hot water for the outdoor shower. So it's not plumbed in. 
to the sink for hot water. But somebody like my friend True, I'm betting he could do that with some pecs and make it happen. But that's not going to be for me. I'm just trying to close the... Uh... Hang on a second, guys. And then I'll get you guys turned around and out of the way. Okay, there we go. So these are two of my camping boxes. They've got all kinds of other camping crap. But that's I, that was what I carry, you know, last year to Sable Beach. So, um, ooh. I think I was I was going to sit and do everything like boom all at once, but I think maybe not a good idea today with the heat. So, you landscape uh, viewers <laughs> regular YouTube whatever oh now you're gonna get a version of the floor well I guess you could look at me backing up my ass is in front of the other camera <laughs> what little ass I have <laughs> it's one of the first things that went although I'm I, I guess I got the typical North American ass the belly and then but no ass so George Carlin used to do a routine about that. So yeah, I'm gonna take that obviously back. That'll be for my bigger trips. And then, like I said, the electric chainsaw. And what did I have in here anyways? I'm not pretty sure I remember what I had. Yeah, oh, well, I don't know what that was. It just broke off. What the fuck was that? Uh, anyway. Just, you know, camping, like, you know, lights for outside and, you know, an extra griddle and, you know, things like that. So nothing all that important. But when you're camping uh, with tents and stuff, you know, everything you can have that isn't, you know, like, uh, obviously there's extraneous things that you would never, you know, bring. But I mean, but these two totes here, I got them, I don't know. 25 bucks for the pair same thing but see I didn't need it in here like the an outdoor kitchen sink and all that stuff but see now if we don't have an RV for um, for you know the big trip to Sable Beach in uh, in August well you know like I you guys saw videos last year yeah I did videos and all that of my outdoor camping setup so anyway so there we are. I mean, now I've got the uh, the basement. Uh, you know, just needs a sweep, and then that's empty. And there's nothing in. I I don't have anything in the side drawers. I'd already taken them out. So um, but that's a thing. So I'll just have to give that a sweep there. Oh, I want my coffee. Oh, the air fryer's up here now, but that'll go into either the next RV if we get one. That's not a not a thing that's not going to happen. It's just I got to get this sold, and that's been a little little more difficult than I anticipated. I guess is the best way to put that. So, but patience is a virtue, as they say, right, folks? I'll give my shout out today to Digger. Good day, lad. Love the latest video. I did. I just wish they were longer, Digger. And then maybe show the whole routine from beginning to, you know, and you don't, like you can film everything, but if it gets to be like an hour where you're just getting nothing, well, you can cut that stuff, brother. I'll show you how to do that if you don't know how to do it already. So, um, Diana, of course. G'day, g'day, g'day. I agree. CPP day. Nightmare. You guys, that's why you responded to it. I was making the joke about, uh, well, I wanted to go to the, up there to the Yukon in my ATV and ride as far as I can. I don't know if I can ride in with the ATV, how far in the Nahani Valley, but just away from the whole world. And then, you know, I keep thinking, you know, if I can get something that's, you know, I can live in and just disappear in the Yukon, just be away from everything. Uh, I'll still have my internet and I'll still film because I'll put the Starlink. So at least I've got that still to connect to the planet. So... But anyways, pipe dreams, right guys? Pipe dreams, pipe dreams. Oh, here, let's make it smell nice. Oh, oh my coffee. Caught it in time. 
That was Anna's idea. I have them in the bathroom, the, the trailer. This is Hawaiian La Aloha. So, yeah, I guess that's about it. There's really nothing else. A black shirt. Uh, well, hmm. what can you say? Well, I'm not going to bring this out now because I need room in the. I need to move some things around and stuff, and then I'll bring it inside the trailer, and then. Well, no, I got to sort through it because I'll put stuff in a box that that uh, you know that'll go into the shed, but then come back out when I need it for either the next RV or the you know camping trip or whatever have you. So I guess the next step now is to bring a garbage bag in here. We'll get all the stuff that's garbage out of here, these bottles, you know, things like that. I'll do a bit of a sweep on the, on the, uh, on the counters, you know. So we'll give that all a good clean out, bring out some fantastic, maybe make sure they're nice and shiny. Um, you know, that copper top, get that all sweeped off, get these all nice and shined up and all that. So... I guess uh, what I'll do is same thing with the air fryer. I'll, uh, cause we can still bring that tent camp because I mean, I have an electric site and you know, I set up my kitchen. So I'll just put that into, well, into one of the, uh, the totes, this room. And I can always buy one more tote. They stack perfectly. I can get rid of my old totes cause these new ones are nice. They stack perfect. You can, you can even lock them. I mean, I, that's crazy. I would never do that, but I mean, you can, if you want to. So steer away from your campsite. They could take the tote, and I guess they could break it in. But you know, in a campground, especially if it's busy, you know, I mean, it's, it's never happened to me yet. Knock on wood. But I'm just saying, like, if you lock it on these little here, you'll see these little holes. So you know, <laughs> so so it slow them down anyway, so somebody get caught. But you know, no, I mean, you know, I I, I just. Uh, I can't even re recall a story of any of the campgrounds I've gone to, or especially at Sabo or White Sands. You know, and there's a lot of craziness that happens there on the weekends with the kids, but man, everybody's just cool. So I, and I've never heard of any thievery. I've never had Lisa say, oh yeah, we just had something. You know, it's always been something like there was an accident or like last year, you know, next to my campsite, some new campers that food on the table that brought the black bear in, the one that I chased running around in my underwear. Skibbies. So, all right, well, I'm happy with that little progress. I think what I'll do is I'll shut you both down because I can't carry you, you both, plus my coffee, and I am not spilling this coffee, okay? You know, like, uh, I've already spilled one in the truck, what, last week, when at my first day out doing uh, flyers. I uh, was not happy about that. Slowed me up from picking up Jeff because I had to run back into the trailer and grab some paper towels and clean that whole mess up. That that pickup truck needs a serious clean inside. I'll see if Jeff wants to do it for some of the hours he can put in around here. Um, be an idea too. So it'll make it cleaner too for him. You know, I don't know what kind. Of, he's, he seems like a very neat and organized guy from what I saw in his little trailer. So. I imagine that's how he is so well I think that's it let's call it um, I mean call it but you know what I mean turn that little fan off Those lights are off and then these lights can go off um, keys I guess the keys are still back in the trailer I didn't bring them on this round I am going to bring this and this because I uh, once I've cooled off a little bit I'm gonna have uh, some toast or something and then um, we'll see what the temperature is out it's warm in here but it's definitely cooler outside but I mean I'm gonna start maybe I'll start taping up some boxes or something so we'll see I'm not gonna push myself too hard uh, today I'm a little bit frustrated with the you know the selling of this thing and uh you know i'm i'm impatient for true to get over here to have a look at it so not, not not upset or anything like that nothing even close to that um it's just 
you know, he's very, very busy, but I want him to be very, very busy. I'm helping him. So he has to squeeze me in when he can, because I've told him priority is your company. So, and he's sticking to that. So, but it kind of messes me up for stuff. So, and I, I don't really want anybody poking around in this truck or anything like that. If I'm going to do that, well, then I may as well bring the damn thing to Oaks. So, okay. So I'm going to say bye for now. Um, oh, I just got a, some people asking about Starlink. Okay. On a Sunday. Well, on a Sunday, it's internet. Anyway, so thanks for coming, everyone. Okay. Uh, leave comments. I really like it. Dan, I'm starting to see your comments more. Um, I got to get over there. I mean, Christ, you're like, what, five, ten kilometers away from me, just barely? Anyways, uh, the boat's not in the water yet, Dan. If I, uh, I'm going to get that done for the middle of the month because trout season. Oh, yeah, trout season's opening up at Palmerston here next week, I think, if it hasn't opened already. But uh, not this coming week, but the week after, I'm going to go buy a battery for the boat. Um, I'm going to seal up those rivets and then uh, we'll go for a little test run in Robertson Lake, make sure the boat is tickety-boo. Uh, and then I'll load the boat up with stuff and then we'll head up Palmerston. I'm going to bring Jeff with me. Um, Jeff had a look at the work I want done in the boat, like put in a new console, a deck at the front, like a mini deck at the front, storage like we used to have on there. Um, he's going to build all of that out of wood and we'll seal it up nice. He says he can do uh, he can do some stuff with that. I'm like, oh, wow. Then you're my guy. So so it'll be ready like that for the Sable Beach thing, but for fishing. So we are going to get out fishing here. It's happening uh, one step at a time. Okay, so like I said, be good, everyone. Be good to your fellow human. Uh, like, share, and please like, share, and subscribe. That helps, help, helps. I think we're hitting 380. We're growing. We're like, whoo, you know, um, not viral, but who cares? Good people stay and good people, bad people don't. So whatever. Um, and if you want to help out financially or tips or food for cats or squirrels, it don't matter, whatever. Anything is always a help. Uh, there's links down in the description, paypal.com slash lad from the woods, so on, blah, blah. I mean, you can read the description. So easier than listening to me. Okay. So now I'm going to say it finally, peace, live long and prosper. Sorry. Uh, uh, peace and long life. Live long and prosper, everyone. Be good to your fellow human. And thank you for coming. And thank you for building the channel. It's cool. Okay, bye.